what's up you guys welcome back to the channel my channel this is Avery aka love you for you aka your very very most eager best friend so today we're doing something a little bit different we're not trying on clothes we're trying weird makeup products so I'll just go ahead and get straight to the video um so I just wanted to say that I love you guys so much thank you for being here and yeah let's just get to the video I want to Welcome you guys back to my channel. This is Love You For You, AKA Avery, AKA I hope I'm your best friend. So yeah, um, as you can see, we are bare face today. This is my first time being without full makeup on on my channel. I'm, it's weird, it's a little, I'm a little shook. I'm a little shook, I feel a little, I feel very naked. So this is my real face. So what we're doing today is um, trying out some strange makeup products. So I want to first do a big shout out to my friend Terry for getting me these products. She is the sweetest. She was just in TJ Maxx and um, bought these products and then, you know, realized I was doing a YouTube channel and thought that it would be fun for me to do a video with them. So thank you so much, Terry. That's so nice. And yes, this whole channel has been about plus size clothes thus far. And it's still mostly going to be about plus size clothes. Um, I mean, I am a plus size lady, but there's a lot of things about me other than that. And I'm sure anyone watching this channel, there's a lot of other things about you other than the size of your body and, you know, all that good stuff. So I love makeup and my first love has always been makeup and face products. And I love to have a moment for me sometimes because, you know, we go through life working and, um, you know, just going throughout the motions of the day. It's just good to sometimes just take a step back and treat yourself. So that's what we're doing today. I, so what we're going to do first, um, since we're having a little treat yourself day, I'm going to light my two candles I got for my birthday. And it's really funny because they're actually both, um, vanilla. This one's vanilla bean and this one's vanilla cake. So I'm going to light these babies because who doesn't like a good smelling candle while we're getting ready? Now, all the people that know me in real life know one of my favorite things to do is get ready. So it's a very zen process for me. It's a spiritual process for me. It makes me feel so very relaxed. So when I get into get ready mode, I am in get ready mode. So here's the first time the wick gets lit and there's a sizzle. Mm, I love that sound. Ah, oh, so we're all vanilla up. We're in, we're in Zen mode. We're ready to try some things. Start, actually, I have two different brush cleaners here. Um, and everything she bought is from TJ Maxx. So let's see. Um, I have two different brush cleaners here. So we're just going to start there because um, I have brushed my, my brushes have been washed fairly recently. But um, it's been a, it's probably been a week. So they could use a little little something something. Now how I wash my brushes currently is that I do one part, what is the ratio? Honestly, I don't abide by the ratio, so what am I saying? I do like one part olive oil to like two parts soap. No, two parts olive oil to one part soap. Anyways, it's, it takes forever and I have to stand at the sink for like an hour because I have so many freaking brushes and I'm just washing and washing and twirling in my hand and then white rinsing and then I have to wait overnight. So it looks like these two, you don't have to use water. Let me start with this. This is called a blank slate brush color swap, <laughs> brush color swap pad. And blank slate allows you to switch makeup shades without the colors blending. Run your brush over blank space sponge to remove powder. Wash sponge between uses. Well, I don't know how often I'm going to wash you. This is just like a little black spongy. And let's see here. I have my highlight brush. She is always in use. Um, my contour brush for my nose. And then I have my naked three brush which i actually use for the naked heat palette currently so these are all pretty damn dirty right now as you can see use the eyeshadow brush first this one gets the most use oh oh 
I'm kind of, wow, I'm really impressed right now. She is clean. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. She is clean. She looks cleaner than she has than when I wash her. So let me just, um, I'll do these two at the same time. Oh, yes, work. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. It's, they're already, they're clean as hell. It was only $4.99. This is a good deal. I might go to TJ Maxx to try to find another one. So I have two. I am really shook. We have Polished Beauty Supply. That's the name of the company. Brush Cleaning Finger Gloves. Brush Cleaning Finger Glove. Help remove makeup, oil, impurities, texture, provides deep, cleaning, comforting, fits over the fingers. Oh, okay, so this one you have to use water with. So using warm water, rinse the brushes of Rinse the bristles and y'all. I wish you could see all the outtakes where I say something wrong and I'm just like, Bleh. anyway, these look so cute and they're like silicone y, very textured. It's cute. I mean, I'm not mad at it. So, I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take just an eyeshadow brush. This is another, this is my naked heat brush. This one's dirty as shit. Cause I love that palette, sweetie. Really, she's dirty. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip it in the water. So now she's wet and a circ, oh. I don't have like a really super high def camera, but there's there's a ton of pigment that just came flying out. So I'm just rubbing and rubbing, rubbing it all for 15 seconds. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, it's clean. I didn't even use brush cleaner. Um, it's clean. And it's already dry too. So it literally cleaned it and dried it. So yeah, so far the two brush cleaners are a banger. Next up for skincare, we have a pomegranate lactic acid exfoliant from Reviva Labs, Reviva Labs. Okay. Apply a light coat to cleanse skin, which is good because I just took a shower and blew dry my hair. So my hair and my skin is clean. Okay, rinse. Okay, let dry for four to six minutes. I'm sorry, three to four minutes. Rub off with dry towel or fingers. Rinse off any leftover particles and apply moisturizer or night cream. Let me go ahead and it says a light coat. Pomegranate and lactic acid. Oh, okay, so you open it up and then it has that little pull thing on it. <coughs> oh my God. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh God, it smells so bad. I was gonna taste it because it's pomegranate and I love pomegranate, but that don't look like pomegranate and it smells awful. It is, Okay, but like I'm like digging my finger in and barely any comes off on my finger. It's like silly putty. Maybe that's what this is. I just Oh my god, it feels so weird. Oh my god, it feels so weird. I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels. Hey, all right, I can't digress anymore. I'm going to put this on my skin now. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I could feel the pieces starting to exfoliate my skin. Oh God, it smells so bad, guys. Oh my God, it smells so bad. Oh, it smells so bad, it's making my eyes burn. Like the fumes are rising to my eyes and my eyes are like, what the fuck? Oh, 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 it's okay, it's dry. Okay, it's dry. I'll see you guys in like three to four minutes. It's been three to four minutes and I can't with this mask. Okay, look. What the freak? I look like one of those people that get the chemical peels in my skin's like on the third or fourth day. I love those videos so much, but look. Oh, okay. I said to rub it off with my 
Look at my hands, guys. I hate it, I hate it. Oh my God, get off, get off, get off. Oh my God, get off my skin. If you ever see this in TJ Maxx, just say no, just say no. Freak, I am freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. I've gotta go wash my face off camera. I gotta go wash my face. Okay, I washed my face off camera, I think. I think we're all good now. Wow. So my skin feels a lot softer. So obviously it worked. I've never hated a skincare product so much in my life. So this next product is called Stat, or I'm sorry, it's the Color Correcting Concealers by Ellen Tracy. Here's what the box looks like. And let's see here, okay. So each of the color correctors have their own little compact here. Let me see. I'm gonna use a sponge it provided. So let's see here. So the purple is for sallow skin. I have no idea what the fuck that means. The pink is for dullness. I do have that. Dark spots are for orange. Green is for redness. And the pale green at the very bottom is for dark circles. So they have a diagram of this lady of everywhere you're supposed to put them. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make myself look like that lady. Color is da 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 da. Purple disguises gallo. Yep. Disguises sallow skin. So this is what the concealer looks like. Oh, okay. So a little bit came off on my finger. Um, does it come off on the sponge? Well, okay. I guess the sponge picking it up. Okay, so she's got it on like her forehead right here. Oh, oh, okay. I'm just doing this damn thing. Like, here we go. Here. I never see myself integrating this into my everyday routine because it's taking too damn long. This is for dullness, and dullness she has right above the purple. So, dullness, here we come. Show. And I'm sure it's gonna be hysterical. Oh, okay, so that is for brightening my dull skins. Putting marks into this product, like I have to really dig to pull it out. Okay, this goes under the eye, so. Oh, she is coming hard. I really can't, I really can't right now. I can't with my face. As a literal triangle, let me just refresh you on the pick. A literal triangle right here. So we're gonna do that. It's supposed to give me the perfect skin, am I right? This is just, it feels like Halloween paint, honestly. Like, it's so thick and so hard to put on your skin. And that one goes on my chin and up my nose. So, here we go. Looks like poopy. Down my, I can't, down my nose. How this is gonna blend out under foundation is really beyond me. And then on my chin. My chin is very red. So I'm gonna put it all over my chin. Now that I look like the freaking Lucky Charms Leprechaun, let's move on. Last but certainly not least, we have silicone makeup sponge. I've seen these a lot and uh, they don't look easy to use, but let's try. Just put a small amount of product on the sponge, apply it in a circular motion until blended and repeat until, and repeat to build coverage as needed. To clean, just wash with soap and water. Just to let you guys know, I'm going in with my tried and true ride or die foundation, the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation from MAC Cosmetics. This is my favorite in the shade NC15. Okay, so small amount. Come on. Okay. Small amount. Apply in a circular motion. Okay. 
Oh, okay. It's okay. Don't freak out, Avery. It's okay. Small circular motion. Okay, so it's covering up the paint, which is, or the concealer rather, which is the whole purpose. But yeah, now I'm not doing circles. I will say it's getting all over my hands, which I've never had that problem with. But uh-uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try the other side of my face, and I'm gonna have to call it a day because this is not easy. This is really not easy, and it's taking forever, and it's just sitting on my. It's not blending, it's just sitting on my face. Okay, I'm literally doing small circular motions. Uh-uh, I'm sorry, I can't. I love you guys, I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna finish blending out this with my beauty blender, and then we'll see if it covered the paint. Okay, thanks. All right guys, so here is the finished look with um, the, I did my full face of makeup. I did something like kind of low key today because I'm only like running errands and stuff, so nothing big. But um, yeah, I think that all the uh, colors that I put on underneath the foundation blended out just fine. I don't really see anything, ooh, the highlight though. I don't really see anything like, I don't really see anything like sticking out, Um, you know. I think obviously the skincare today was a miss. The best parts were the, um, oh my God, my camera. The best parts were the um, brush cleaning tools. Um, other than that, the skincare was a miss. I would never use the concealer thing again. And the Scylla sponge was a mess. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Please leave me a like. Please um, leave me a comment and say, hello, lady, what's up? I hated this video or I loved it. Just let me know. If you love plus size clothes, if you love makeup, if you love anything to do with just living your life, then you should subscribe to this channel. And I, I love to see you guys and I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Avery. Love you for you. And always love you for you. This is so important. You gotta love yourself. Bye, guys.